This is the American on ESPN Plus. Justin's is the official and exclusive championship jewelry partner of the American Athletic Conference. The 2022 American Softball Championship. Game two pits Memphis against Wichita State, the seventh seeded Tigers going up against the second seeded Shockers from Greenville, North Carolina. Let's take a look at the bracket. One game already complete as Houston eliminates Tulsa by a win of five to two. It'll be the Cougars and the Knights of UCF tomorrow. Memphis and Wichita State will be followed by East Carolina and South Florida to round out the first round. My name's Chris Mykoski. She's former ECU outfielder Jill Jelnick. Morgan Uber is our roving reporter. She'll join us in just a moment. Well, for Wichita State, they finished second in the regular season, dropping two out of three to UCF on the final weekend. So they have to get over some disappointment after not claiming that conference tournament, that conference regular season title. Wichita State with a chance to bounce back this week and shift their focus to the postseason. Wichita State has the second highest RPI in the American at 37, which means they should be competing in the postseason next week, but first they have to take care of business against Memphis today before they can look ahead. Wichita State offers so much firepower on offense, including the leading home run hitter in the nation, and that's where we look at our Star Watch, brought to you by Ashley Home Store. It's Addison Barnard. Addison Barnard, one of the most exciting players to watch in the conference, a strong, disciplined player that has quick hands, and it's her combination of power and bat speed that has led to her staggering numbers at the plate. 30 home runs on the season. Well, Memphis, the clear underdog, the number seven seed, finished in the cellar in the American in the regular season. So, Jill, what do they have to do to have a chance today? Memphis with a tough task ahead of them, facing the top offense in the American. And first and foremost, the Tigers have to pitch fearless. Wichita hitters hunt and look for certain spots. Memphis pitchers have to attack right away and hit their spots. On the other end, at the plate, the Tigers have to attack good pitches, be disciplined at the plate, don't chase anything out of the zone. And when their hitters do see something they like, Memphis needs to put it in play and make the defense work. Puts a lot of pressure not just on Memphis, but on the pitching staff and Sims in the circle. 2-0 pitch to her in the left field. There's home run number 31 on the season for Addison Barnard. A no-doubter off the bat. And the Shockers lead the Tigers 2-0 in the bottom of the first. All it took was two pitches into Addison Barnard's first at bat of the game to have one soar over the left foot field fence. This was an incredible swing. The ball a little down in the zone, but she really doesn't have to work hard. She lets her barrel get underneath it and her upper body strength and body overall of her with her power is able to just lift that flawlessly. A beautiful swing and that is why she leads the country in home runs. When they're not hitting the ball out of the park, they're also putting incredible cuts on it. Their barrel speed and staying on plane is what's key. The 2-1 knocked into right field. It will carry. Mills hit three home runs in the regular season here at East Carolina. Now a fourth comes in the tournament against Memphis Mills. in the first inning it's six to nothing Mills must clearly love this ballpark here in Greenville so much success in this stadium and comes at a huge time to really bust open this first inning Memphis had gotten Wichita State had gotten runners on scoring position and after Barnard's leading off leading off the inning with that home run just showing how much power they have one through nine it, it's exhausting knowing that not only you have the top of the lineup that is going to give you trouble but all the way down there with seven Lauren Mills able to come up with a grand slam. Again, the 2-2, this time a check swing right at Jones. Over to first to finish off the double play. Memphis got Hargis aboard, but then Zavala lines in to a double play. Jones to Herring. The Shockers lead 6 to nothing through one and a half. And the definition of farm strong, to <laughs> Morgan's point, that upper body she's built over time is coming in huge. Into right center, Basham giving chase. She won't get to it. 
Home run number 32 for Barnard. And the Shockers now lead eight to nothing. The leading home run hitter in the country with two at bats and two blasts. Farmstrong, Addison Barnard coming up clutch yet again. Two at bats in the first game of the American tournament. She takes it yard. Look at this swing. It's, the ball is pitched outside on the outside corner of the plate. This didn't miss. It wasn't over the heart of the plate, but because of her quick hand speed and also her ability to get that barrel through the zone and her power, her power growing up, the Farmstrong kid, Addison Barnard, coming through and all smiles. She gets Gives high fives to the rest of the Shockers. Correct. It, it anything bigger than this could be much more effective. But right now, this is this is very challenging to play in as well, even if it is a light drizzle. Three one pitch into right center. A grand slam from Mills. Back to back grand slams by Lauren Mills. She's responsible for eight runs batted in already, and we're only in the second inning. 12 to nothing, Wichita State over Memphis. Have yourself a day, Lauren Mills. She's been swinging the bat well all season long. An American first team selection. And right here, look at her hands right to the ball and pushes her weight from her front foot down to her back and lets her power drive through. Also great barrel playing by Lauren Mills. That's why she is so good. Quick hands and that power together make a deadly combination. And I mean, back to back Grand Slams. But Chris, are we surprised from Wichita State? <laughs> I need the distance tracker on that one. Yeah, it the light pole to the left of the scoreboard and it was about halfway up had that light pole not been on there it would have cleared the track oh. on that stadium next to us what a mammoth blast it would have gone definitely into the the inner track right on uh someone could have easily picked that up running if she could wait just a tiny bit longer she'll be able to straighten one out the o2 in the left a diving Morton can't get to it. One run scores. Two run scores. They're sending the third. Here comes Mills sliding in safely. A bases clearing double by Laney Brown makes it 18 to nothing, Wichita State. Things stick to their identity and show the committee why they need to play in the next week. The pinch hitter, senior Riley Unkst, is the final out of the game as Zoe Jones takes it herself all the way to first and that will do it. The Shockers win in run rule fashion 22 to nothing and what a great defensive effort by Jones to close this one out turning the burners I on. I love that play. We've been talking offense all season long or all game long so it's only fitting that Wichita State ends its game with an impressive defensive play. Morgan thanks very much. The Shockers just flat out dominant all day long and it started from the get-go in the bottom of the first inning. They kept pouring it on and on and on. Still plenty left in the tank for tomorrow against either USF or ECU. There's no doubt Wichita State is just getting started. Yes, they came out firing today, brought their full arsenal of, of hitters and offense, but they'll definitely be challenged tomorrow. East Carolina and South Florida to determine who the Shockers will face. That game set to begin at approximately 3.40 Eastern time. We will have that one for you right here on ESPN+. Plus. We appreciate everybody hanging throughout the rain delay and this mammoth victory by Wichita State. Our final from Greenville, North Carolina. The Shockers, 22. The Memphis Tigers, nothing. For Morgan Uber down on the field and Jill Jelnick by my side and all of our crew behind the scenes, my name's Chris Mykoski. The American Softball Championship continues at approximately 3.40 p.m. with ECU and USF on ESPN+.